Okay, what we'll do here is I'll show you how to solve some equations by uh, adding and subtracting algebraic fractions, so fractions that have some letters in them. And uh, let's let's start with the first example here. Okay, so our first example here with with, with all of these, what we're going to do with each with each problem is is we're going to multiply every term by the common denominator. Okay, so with in this case, I've got three and four of my denominators. And my common denominator is the first multiple that they have in common. And the first multiple that 3 and 4 have in common is 12. So I'm going to multiply everything by that 12, and then I'll simplify it. So let's do that first. Uh, the li lowest common denominator, or least common denominator for this example, is 12. So I'll multiply everything by 12 and simplify it from there. Okay, so there. So I've multiplied everything by 12. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify. Okay, and when I simplify this, I get uh, 12n over 3 plus, uh, this is 12n over 4. And 21 times 12 gives me 252. Okay, now the, why you do that is all of these guys, 12 over 3 and 12 over 4, we should eliminate the fractions, which is the whole point of doing it. 12, 12 divided by 3 gives me... Uh, 4n, 12n divided by 3 gives me 4n, and 12n divided by 4 gives me 3n. And so what I get, this is my goal right here, my, my goal is to eliminate the fractions. Because once I have this, well, I can collect like terms, 7n equals 252, and then I just divide by 7. And, and 252 divided by 7, um, I think gives me 36. So it's, once we eliminate the fractions, it becomes a, quite an easy equation to solve. Okay, so let's, let's try another example, and well, this time it'll be a subtraction one. Okay, and so we look at 3 and 8, and we just have to know these multiples, their least common multiple that these guys have is 24. So that means that's what I'm going to multiply every single term by, multiply each one by 24, and uh, see what I get there. Okay, and what we can't forget is to multiply, you know, this guy by 24 as, as well. We multiply every single term by that uh, least common denominator, and um, that way we keep it equal. We keep it, we keep it true. So 24 times 2x is 48x over 3 minus uh, 3 times 24 gives me 72 with an x over 8 equals, and 7 times 24, and this is the one where most people forget this step right here. That gives me 168. All right, and I can simplify these. These these have to simplify. 48 divided by 3 is 16, 16x. 72 divided by 8 is 9x. And now it doesn't become that hard. 16x take away 9x um, gives me 7x. 7x equals 168. And I divide by 7 again, just like the previous problem. Chance and I get my solution of 24. So, nothing, nothing too complicated yet. Okay, let's, let's look at some examples that might be a little bit more difficult. Um, so here we go. Okay, this, this guy, uh, 2 and 3, so uh, at least common denominator there is pretty easy to figure out. That's 6, so I'm going to multiply everything by 6 here. Now the only thing is if you've got something on the top of the fraction, that is more than one term, like n minus 3, then when you multiply this by 6, it has to be put in brackets. Okay, so this is what we get. And so instead of doing the 6 times right here, I just put 6 brackets n minus 3. Okay, and that means 6 times n minus 3. So I said use brackets when I've got something like that up in the denominator. Okay, so let's simplify. I get 6n over 2 plus, and I'm just going to expand this right away, uh, 6n minus 18 over 3, 4 times 6 gives me uh, 24, okay? Okay, now let's do some simplifying. Uh, 6 divided by 2 gives me um, 3n, and uh, actually, hold on a sec, right here, I probably shouldn't have expanded that, because now I'm not really, oh, now I'm in a bit of a gridlock here. I'm just going to do the 6 divided by 3 here, so forget that. Sorry about that. And I'll just do 6 divided by 3 here and get a 2. 
All right? Remember, the whole point is to get rid of the bracket, or sorry, to get rid of the fractions. So that's going to be a lot cleaner than that. So this is what we want to look for to get a whole number instead of fractions. Okay, now I expand and collect like terms. I get uh, 3n plus 2n minus 6 equals 24. Collect like terms, I get 5n minus 6 equals 24. And now, uh, straightforward solving for n. Add 6 to get 5n equals 30. And then divide by 5 to solve for n. 30 divided by 5 gives me 6. Okay, so sorry about that right there. We don't want that. We want to get rid of fractions. So um, let's try that again. Okay, let's try one more. And this one looks really hard. And um, I'll try, I will try. won't make that mistake there. So I'm not going to expand that first. I'm going to simplify it first. Um, okay, so 9 and 4. What's the uh, least common denominator? 36. Now I multiply everything by 36, and I get uh, 36. Remember, I've got to use brackets now. 36 times bracket x minus 5 uh, over 4 minus 36 brackets 3 minus 4x over 9 equals 13. Don't forget to multiply that by 36 as well. Okay, and what do I get here? 36 divided by 4 is 9. 9 brackets x minus 5. Uh, uh, minus 36 divided by 9 is 4 brackets 3 minus 4x and 13 times 36 gives me 468 I didn't do that in my head I had it worked out already now expand collect like terms solve for x we're ready to go let's do it expand right here and I get 9x minus 45 Expand right here, and don't forget you expand that negative 4 through, not just the 4. So I get a uh, minus 12 plus 16x, not minus, because negative 4 times negative 4x is positive 16x, equals 4, 6, 8. Um, collect like terms, I get 25x, 25x, and these guys combine to uh, minus 57. Minus 57 equals 468. Now I'm getting there. At least the fractions are gone. Add 57 to the other side, and I get 25x equals 525. Finally, divide by 25 to solve. 525 divided by 25 is 21. Okay? Okay, so I hope that helps. And, and the main thing to remember is that when we do multiply each thing by that common denominator, is if there's more than one thing on the top, to put that into brackets. And also, uh, when we do some expanding, to make sure we get the signs correct. Okay? So that's, that sign will go with that 36 when we um, divide it and expand it. Okay? Good luck.